Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, it's time to start up our outdoor wood furnace. Hey everybody, my name's Jay. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna start up our Central Boiler CL604 Outdoor Classic uh, Wood Boiler. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. We do this every year. This is our sixth year running it. So yeah, let's go ahead and walk you guys through the startup process and kick it off. All right, friends, let me pop you guys off the tripod here. Again, um, thank you for tuning in. My name is Jay. I live on an 18 acre homestead in beautiful New Hampshire. And yes, this is our classic outdoor wood boiler CL6048. This is the sixth heating, this is the sixth year we've been running this machine, and I am excited to start it up. Let's go ahead and give you a quick walkthrough. It is October 25th. Um, we still haven't fired it up. As you can see, it is all cleaned and oil from uh, our shutdown video. I'll put a link to that here. As you can see, there's some residual oil in the bottom, which will make for a nice fire. But anyways, uh, take a good look at how clean that is, because in a couple weeks, it, will, uh, it won't be that clean. So anyways, there's no power to the machine yet, but first thing we gotta do, which I already have off, we have to unplug our circulator pump, and I will explain that in a little bit. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, first thing we're gonna do is check our water level. Water level's flush to the fill line. I don't know how well you can see that, but let's shut our water off. All this is is dribble just from the hose. Uh, there's a little check valve in there, but yeah. Let's go ahead and stack some pallets in there. We're gonna use pallets to heat up the furnace. So first things, we're gonna go down into the basement. We're gonna turn power on to the unit. That will open our damper door here. All right, so we're here in the basement. As you can see, this is the PEX that comes in from the outdoor boiler. This is our supply and our return here. Up on this breaker here, we have a breaker for the wood boiler. We're gonna turn that on and go back out. Uh, I'll show you the, how it heats the house in a second, but let's go back out there and get a fire going. So back out here to the machine, as you can see, our damper our damper is opened up because the unit is calling for heat. The water is a whopping 55 degrees. So yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of energy to heat this water up to 180. So yeah, enough with the talking, let's light some stuff on fire. All right, so for our startup, we are gonna use some cedar pallets we picked up. Here. These are hardwood pallets. These should burn real nice. So let's just wait, lay one on the bottom there. A couple pieces here. I'm going to get some paper in a second. Let's get some paper, which I conveniently have right here. All right. You guys excited? If you guys are excited, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think. I know a lot of you have already started up your fireplaces and wood heaters, but like everything on the homestead, last minute, it's supposed to be 22 degrees out tonight. So, hence the beanie. We're a little late to the party, but again, it's all right. Get some more sticks. We had a campfire last night with the family, so this stuff burnt, burnt pretty good last night, so should do all right. Should do all right today. Yeah, it takes a little bit of paper to get these going, but we'll see. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. All right, it's official. Wood heating season has begun. Ah, 
Yes. There's just something about wood heat that ah, I just can't explain. We haven't moved the temperature a bit. <laughs> Fire's only been going for about a couple minutes though. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this door a little bit, keep some of the heat in. And yeah, we're going to come back in a little bit, see how long it takes to uh, heat up 300 gallons of hot water. So yeah, we'll be back in a jiff. Another hardwood pallet. Ooh, yes. All right, it says 93 degrees. Let's get another update. Those pallets are burning all right. Let's throw some uh, firewood sticks in there. All right, everybody, sorry it's dark out now, but we got 171, seven o'clock. Two hours later, it took to get the water to almost temp. Got a nice fire going, nice logs, building a nice coal bed. So what we're gonna do now is go downstairs and turn on the plumbing downstairs. And then when we come back out, we will hook our uh, pump up. Sorry about being dark. All right, so we're down here at the plumbing. What we're gonna do now is, we're going to turn these valves on, turn these valves on, and we are going to turn our heat exchanger pump on. Now, as soon as we get the outdoor boiler plugged in, this will all start looping through the heat exchanger, and yeah, we should be good to roll. All right, so now that we got the plumbing back on, back out here at the boiler, we are going to... We're probably going to leave that there. It's in a good spot. We're going to plug our pump in. These valves are all open. So now what we're doing is we're taking the 174 degree water, running it through that heat exchanger in the house. So that's pretty much it. This temperature is gonna drop a little bit because we have the PEX underground piping is gonna start mixing in. So this will drop a little bit, but we should be good to roll. All right, everybody. So we're out here the next day. It's about 11.45 um, and the fire is still hot. So we put in enough wood obviously to last through the night. But anyways, that concludes today's video. I'm going to do a few more videos on these uh, outdoor wood boilers uh, as they're pretty popular. But anyways, if you want to see something specific on this machine, leave a comment below. Maybe how, I don't know, maybe how much wood can you fit in it? How long does a load last? I don't know. Whatever you guys think of. Anyways, I'm open for suggestions to make videos on it since, you know, tis the, seeding, tis the season for wood heat. So anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, we will uh, see you in the next episode. We got a great series coming up on uh, we're transforming our shed. So yeah, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Another hardwood pallet.